Hi everyone, Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com and this is part two of our fall garden series. Now, we've tried running, uh, planting squash for a long time and every year it gets devastated. And you know, we're full of hope and everything's coming on really great. So let me give this proviso here. We still may be under attack with the squash that I planted back in August. But it was recommended as a, a great plant to plant, wonderful fruit. By the way, it is a, um, a winter squash variety, so it's going to have to cure on the vine. And, um, you know, the skin has to harden and all that. But this is a variety called Red Curie. Eventually, these beautiful, and it's a beautiful, um, just as it is, it's a beautiful uh, fruit right now. And it's going to change colors to a red color. The deal with, uh, I think, the reason why we're having such a, a success, um, and, and by the way, this is shade cloth. This, this was our little shady uh, arch area where we put in our stuff that needs sort of uh, protection, temporary protection, and also growing some of our leafy greens under here so they, they won't get bolted over the summer heat. But um, we planted this late and so far, we've not seen the traditional devastation of the vine borer or the squash bugs. And I think what happened is we didn't do any real plantings of squash out here this year, um, any significant anyway. We got some zucchini in, but then they were quickly devastated by vine borers. So I just gave up until planting seeds out here. Uh, it was August 2nd. I have a note down here, August 2nd. And this is how much it's grown in, what did I make it, August 2nd? So that's about 30, about two months worth of growth. And it has taken off. Now, uh, some of you may wonder, well, how do you know when the winter squash is ready? One uh, simple way of learning, of finding out, is to take your thumbnail, and if you can impress your thumbnail into the skin, the outer skin, and it goes through, it's not ready. You keep testing it out. Now the other day we had a little accident where somebody's fingernail just grazed against here and put a little divot on the skin here and that was a total accident. We're not going to call names. No, 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 <laughs> we won't. But it is um, just a, a, one way of testing and these things will turn a shade of red and by all accounts, from what I've read, from what I understand, uh, it's a delicious uh, flesh inside that you can put into a pie you can make uh, all, all kinds of, of uh, it, it's more of a thing that you treat more like a pumpkin so, um, so it's a hard shell squash. it's a hard shell squash and so far knock on bamboo <laughs> we are having a, a a really good time with it and I don't know whether it's because it took off and is is growing on this shade cloth or what, or it's just the timing that we got, we let all the bugs die off and they have yet to come back. I was just uh, focusing right now on the um, red, what is it, red okra? Red the scarlet. burgundy okra. Bur sorry, burgundy okra in the background. <coughs> at the top of that one, there are some ready to harvest as well. Yeah. It's wonderful. It is a wonderful time of year. Yeah, and it's such a beautiful plant, like the one beyond that. And you see the flower from this side, and they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything well, that's else all I had to say. This is uh, part two of our fall garden um, Tour. extravaganza. <laughs> so we, we love show, showing off our garden and, and letting folks learn, hopefully. One more thing. Can I add in one more thing? Of course. We planted. Uh, we planted some broccoli. Oh, I'm... that's. Let's do a second clip. Okay. okay. Well, this is just about. This is a mystery. We'll so... <laughs> explain it later in it's, part three. It's coming up. Stay tuned. This is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. So long.